This segment is brought to you by Kansas Wheat. Learn more at rediscoverwheat.org. Good morning and welcome back to Farm Factor at the Three Eyes Show in Dodge City. Let's join Kyle Bauer as he and Eddie Estes discuss the origins of the Three Eyes Show. Hi, this is Kyle Bauer. I have the opportunity and the pleasure to visit with Eddie Estes. He is the I'll call you manager. You can help me out on the exact title here in a bit. For the Three I Show, we're in Dodge City, Kansas. The Three I Show has been a staple of Western Kansas agriculture for many, many years. And Eddie, I'd like for you to lay out the history of the Three I Show for me. Well, first of all, the very first one, Kyle, was in Hayes, Kansas in 1953. However, prior to that, it was a traveling car van, they called it. They'd take about, oh, eight or nine companies from western Kansas. They basically would go from town square to town square, set up, have their show, go to the next town. And that's how the whole deal got started. And that was prior to 53. The association was actually born in 1949. Well, and let's talk about the Western Kansas Manufacturers Association, who is actually the owner of the show. Tell us about that organization. That's where it was established in 1949, and matter of fact, it was a group of Western Kansas manufacturers who wanted to do something as a group to promote manufacturing out in this part of the state. Nothing had been done up to that time, and all these folks said, you know, it's up to us to do this, so let's just get it done. And that's exactly what happened. They got together, they made up the plan, but it took all those years, Kyle, to actually come up with a show that they would ground in Hayes in 1953. How long in Hayes and what was the evolution after that? After that it was all over the place. It was in Colby, it was in Liberal, it was in Pratt. It had been a lot of different places, but as it grew, and you, you understand this better than most, it's difficult to move something around that much once it really got some legs and, you know, started to establish itself like it is, well, not quite like it is today, but even then it was it was getting pretty good size. My first three eye show that I came as a uh, person that displayed was 1985, um, and tell talk about what things were like then and when you kind of came to semi permanent um, places. In 1970, that was the last time the show was in Dodge City. 1970. So after that time. It was really getting a pretty good size at that time. They decided, Kyle, to move it then to a couple of locations. So Garden City, Kansas and Great Bend, Kansas, then got in the picture and they established some, you know, locations to do that. And it was that way until we moved here to the permanent site in 2012. And what was the reasoning to go to a permanent site? A lot of reasons. Number one, the exhibitors, they wanted a permanent site. Right now, Kyle, we've already got buildings going up that are permanent. You can't do that when you're moving around like that. This site we have now, Kyle, has a 200,000 square foot building with more than 500 spaces just on one side of it, plus a full arena and a whole bunch of dirt section on the other side of it. We have a million 500,000 square feet outside with electrical hookups every 50 feet and a great surface that rain, snow, or whatever it might happen, we can still have the show and parking the same thing. So that's, there's all those kind of reasons that you have to, and it, it's tough to do that. That's a tough decision to make, particularly when you've been, you know, working in other communities for all those years. We're visiting with Eddie Estes, the manager of the Three I Show. We're in Dodge City, Kansas. This is Kyle Bauer reporting. Thanks, Kyle. Stay with us as Kyle catches up with Robin Jennison, Secretary of Wildlife and Parks for the state of Kansas, coming up next on Farm Factor. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn, with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com. 